On Saturday, February 24th, the Recreation Department sponsored an exhibition honoring village residents through portraiture at Clubhouse 2. For those of you who didn't attend, we thought we'd give you an opportunity to participate in this amazing event. Hi, here we are at Portraits in the Village at Clubhouse 2 on a Saturday night, and you are going to see some wonderful portraits that have been created by our own village residents. So we thought we would start out with pictures that Mark Rabinowitz has taken, and Carol has agreed to be our tour guide of all these wonderful pictures, Carol Challen. So, Carol, why don't you go right ahead and start us out? Well, we just happen to be standing by this one particular portrait that really is a favorite of mine. I had the opportunity to play Puck in Lovers in Midsummer about five years ago, and then we did it again oh, about two years ago with bits and pieces of Shakespeare, again on the plaza. Carol, tell me how you feel about yourself when you look at this picture. Well, I love it. I love the picture because it's a character I get to play. It isn't me. It's this wild, silly woodland creature played by Mickey Rooney in the original movie that they did way back in the 30s. But uh, it's just fun and happiness and light. And the world needs plenty of happiness and light, especially right now. I think the reason that I enjoy this so much is just the... Uh, fantasy side of it. It's just like, like she said, it's a character. It um, makes me think of Peter Pan. It makes me think of all kinds of characters. Character. She looks like that all the time. There you go. There you go. <laughs> From your mouth to God's ear, I try. Right, right. So I love it. So I just think it's a really delightful picture, and I'm really glad that uh, Mark took it because it turned out so well. So here we are with a picture of Artie Rosenstein. Now, anyone who's seen, seen theater in Laguna Woods knows who Artie Rosenstein is because he's in just about everything. A very warm and loving actor, but I think this one is quite interesting, and I want Carol to tell us about the scene that he was doing in this picture. This scene comes from uh, Love is in the Air, which we did last February. It was a compendium of love sonnets, letters, and interesting enough, the poem that Artie did was basically a rap song by Tupac Shakur, which he came out gangsta style and was just blew the house away, really. It was so smooth and so well done. Her next picture is of Beth Perrick, and she was in a, another show as well, which I'll have Carol tell you about. But one of the things that's so interesting is notice how Mark captured and, and took the photo really right at the right moment. So he captured her, he got her smile, he got um, her brightness, and that therefore it made it a really fine picture. So, or photograph, as we really should say. And so, Carol, tell us what you remember about this one. I believe this was from our Christmas show, which was really uh, an incredible show. There, we had so many people in it, it was just fabulous. Beth brings a sweetness to everything she does, which is just the person that she is. Our next photograph is of David Deering. Almost everyone in the village knows who David Deering is. Between his acting and his band, um, and so many other things, but mostly David's name says it all about David. He is truly a dear person. And this was from Shakespeare, but uh, do you remember what scene it was from, Carol? This shot was from our Twelfth Night, which we were still doing out there on the patio at Clubhouse One, which has always been a delightful place to do our Shakespeare, normally in September. And David was playing Malvolio, who is usually the most put-upon character. This was an off-guard moment when David was just truly David. And I think Mark captured him beautifully in this. Now we're going to take a look at a photograph of Sheila Bialka. Sheila Bialka has been so active in this village for so many years. She's acted, directed both Old Pros and Theater Guild productions, and the most recent being um, The Magic Jukebox. So um, this was again at one of the uh, holiday shows. And Carol, do you remember which show that was? Yes, I have a clue because of the poinsettias. Oh, it was go. our yeah. Christmas show where we had the brass band. And again, I don't have the uh, introductions in front of me to remember which poem she was doing. 
I hope it wasn't her famous 12 Days of Christmas, which is a little different than the usual one that you're used to seeing. But with Sheila, no matter what she says, you're going to believe it. Trust me. Now we are seeing a photograph of Brett Halsey. Some of you would remember him from the cowboy movie days because Brett was a professional actor. And he's lived in the village for quite a while and he's done some directing here. But let, let me have Carol tell you uh, what he might have been doing in this particular picture. Well, again, there's a clue because of the drape over the podium. And it was, again, from our Christmas show a, couple, a year or so ago through the recreation department. Not only did he do uh, Italian spaghetti westerns, as they call it, he was out of the same era as Clint Eastwood, went through the same training, is famous for he was in AIP productions, he did soaps, he, he's done everything and we're so happy to have Brett here in the community. He's just a delight. I think the last thing he directed for us was Arsenic and Old Lace, which was one of the best attended programs we have done in a long time. If you look at this photograph, you see the essence of an actor and this beautiful face, the beautiful costume. It also says to me, this is Shakespeare. And we're lucky that we've got Mark right here, the photographer, to give us a little bit of insight into this picture and maybe some of the others that he's taken. So Mark, tell me, how do you capture some of these beautiful pictures? Because it isn't that easy. With my camera. Well, we know that. <laughs> so you have to take multiple pictures? Okay, multiple, multiple photographs, and then you have to go through them yep. and figure out the best. Find the right one, and then post-process it, and it's all it's that all easy. There. For this exhibition, do you have a favorite? I do. And it is? It's the one I took of Gila. Yes. That I took at the uh, PAC with a very long lens. I was all the way at the back of the theater when I took that photograph. That's exciting. And I love that way it turned out. Gila is this very soft and lovely woman. He captured all of that in that photograph. Dennis is our bartender. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of choices. Um, champagne, obviously, and wine and beer. So I think, Dennis, you should pour us a little glass of champagne. Sure. Okay. That's pretty sweet. It is, it's very nice. They've really done a great job. And the best thing is, is that people are showing up and enjoying themselves. And I noticed that people are really looking at the photographs and that is what, what is the best part. To just pass by them is not enough. You need to really look at them and see what they're trying to project. And people are doing that, I've noticed that. Another glass of champagne? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, it was a pretty big crowd. Yes, it's great. Yeah. Thank you. Here's to you, Thank you. Enjoy. Here's to you all. This event is being held in Clubhouse 2. And I think most of us have been here since the remodel, and it really is a beautiful room. And this is perfect for this type of event. It has the space and has the ambiance. This has allowed a lot of people to come and enjoy the photographs, to enjoy the food and the drink, and the recreation department should be complimented for doing this great event. The way that they have set up the room and, and the way they are displaying the photographs, it's really quite lovely. We're gonna move on to some of the larger portraits and I think you're gonna be amazed not only at the quality, but at the size of the portraits. These fantastic portraits are by Jim Gibson, and he's been working and become very well known at the art uh, gallery in Clubhouse 4. So his work is displayed tonight. These are all village people, and uh, they're beautifully done, and they're very large, and so there's a great deal of, of things to look at and a great deal of expression to experience. So I hope you're going to enjoy it as we pass by and look at all of these portraits. Okay, now is very exciting. We're going to see each of the individuals whose portrait was, was taken uh, in front of their own portrait and a large picture taken of all of them. And that's going to be great to see. 
we're going to talk to Marge Kinney. And Marge has a great background in teaching art, and she's doing it on the internet, which is so interesting. So let's let Marge tell us about her feelings about what she does and also what she thinks of this event tonight. This is absolutely fabulous. This is the first time that the Golden Rain Foundation has ever has ever had such an event like this. And the thing that makes this event so spectacular is that all of the portraits are of people that live in Laguna Woods, which meant that each person who took the portrait did it in their own private time, without funds, and just did it out of their passion for art. And it's just, this is amazing. And so then Golden Rain realizing this, they said, hey, let's have Swaree, let's have a party. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. And so they have brought, this crowd is fabulous tonight. I think we have nearly 500 people here. It's wonderful. And they have wine and, and all kinds of things. And look at how they decorated this. If you look at this, they have all of the easels. They have the beautiful black fabric. This is as good as New York. It's absolutely wonderful. And the people are enjoying it. And and we just had all of the artists who, um, Jim Gibson, who was the artist, he just took little photos of us and worked from those. And so it took him hours and hours. It took us a minute before the camera, but it took him like 30 or 40 hours to complete each painting. And did he charge us for it? No. It's all out of the passion. Everyone in this room has done this out of the passion for art. And that's what I think is so wonderful about Laguna Woods Village. I mean, you can't get this anywhere. And it's in several classes, from portrait making class to photography, all kinds of things. I fortunately, you ask what I'm doing myself. I am on YouTube. I get letters from 94 countries. And they're just absolutely wonderful. And I teach 67 lessons. Again, it's volunteering, but that's what we get to do at this time of life. We get to find out what our gift is and then just give it away. Exactly. <laughs> it's okay with me. It's Good. when you see the passion, I love it. And you know, the other thing that surprised me that it was all done from a photo, because I would have thought you would have sit for hours to have this accomplished. So that is really saying something. It was done on his cell phone. Wow. On his cell phone, he just came up to us and said, do you mind if I take your picture? Would it be okay if I painted it? And all of us are in the art studio almost daily. So we're all passionate about art. And he just took it and went on his way and would make these wonderful paintings. This is the beautiful results of all of that this work. Is, this is that. That's right. It's great. It's really wonderful. And it was really fun to see the people standing in front of their portrait, right? I mean, that yeah. really made it fun. He told us to wear exactly what we wore when we had our picture taken so that it would look like it would look like him. And all of us have a little complaint here or there, hey my ear doesn't look like that or my makeup is wrong or whatever. Who cares? But everyone else everyone else says you know what it looks like you right. oh it does that's the oh. thing he's captured your essence you know and that's yes. what many artists try to do both in in this form of portraits as well as photograph they try to get the essence of what what that person is and it certainly captured it what you just said is the essence of what he said that he tries to feel what the person is feeling because he knows them all well and he tries to bring that out so you hit it on the head Sandy, you're great. That's good. Hi, we're talking to Jim Gibson, and he is the master of these portraits. So we want to hear a little more about how it all happened and what maybe inspired him to do this in the first place. Go great. ahead, Jim. Hi, Sandy. Thank you. Well, it all began with Stanley over there. Can we go over to Stanley? Yeah, let's go to Stanley. Okay, we'll let's go over here. here. Stanley. This is Stanley. Now Stanley is no longer with us. Bill and Stanley have passed away. But Stan Stanley was an old friend of mine and I was very close to him in the art studio. He was a very fine artist in his own right. Uh, he, he and I became friends. Uh, I took a photograph of him just in the studio one day and then I went on a cruise. And while I was on the cruise I was looking at my photographs and I thought, when I get home, I'm going to paint a portrait of Stanley. 
And so when I got home, I did. I worked on Stanley, and it took me about a month to complete Stanley. And uh, I got such a good feeling of painting Stanley that I went and I painted Al over here. Okay. And, and then I thought, oh, I'm not stopping. So before long, I had a whole series of what I call the Old Guys series. And that was started in 2013. And uh, I had a show in Clubhouse 3. Uh, it was a really great show, and I had six other guys. And since that time, four of the six have passed away. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm hoping to do, to, to do a, an actual visual, uh, historical documentary of my friends that live here in the village. And so then I completed those guys, and then recently, a couple of years ago, I decided, well, I'm going to now begin the Old Gals series, and that was intimidating. Because, you know, women are different than men, and they like... You're more nervous about how yeah, you see them, right? Exactly. Right, right, and they, if you, they don't want to see too many wrinkles. But or these, many? Exactly, and so with Sidel over there, she says, well, Jim, you could do my painting, but you got to take some of my wrinkles out. See, that's what happens. Yeah. So I said, okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll take out one and a half. And, but she said, got such a great sense of humor. She, she laughed, and that's how... Totally understood. Totally understood. Right, but do you, you realize now what you're creating. I mean, this historical group, and and hopefully many of these people will live a long time, but those that have passed, they, they, it's never going to go away. I mean... Well, yeah. Um, uh, Bill Graham here... Uh, his, his widow is Sidel. Sidel is, let's see her name, she was sitting in the middle. Sidel's the middle, the middle character. With the hat? The hat. Uh -huh. oh, that is, the lady That's with the Sidel. hat. That's Sidel. Okay. She was here just a while ago. Right, we saw her in fact, and we did get a picture yeah. of her. And uh, so, this was Sidel's husband, Bill. Something we all loved very much, of course. Look at how smooth his skin is. You know, some people when they get old, they they still keep yeah. their skin. And he was like that. That's very yeah. accurate. Right. He was he was our mat cutter over in the art studio for many years. And a great, a really great painter in his own way. Very good. And the twinkle in his eye is That's, so evident. Here's what I do with the paintings. I give them to the to the people. Okay. Wonderful. I give them to them. Now for this show, I had to ask them if I could borrow them back for a couple of days. So I borrow Bill from Sudell. And uh, I had Stanley, but uh, all of these have, have agreed to loan themselves to me. I, Al there was in his home, and I, I, he brought it in for me, as well as um, Paul over there. And uh, so I had to draw back a few of them. But most of them are being shown for the first time. Now, have you also taken pictures, larger pictures of all of these, or do you just have the originals? Here, or Well, first, once they're finished, I, I, when I paint, I continuously photograph my work. Oh, good. Continuously. Continuously. After every session, I photograph my painting. And the reason is? Because I want to go back. At night, I come home after I've painted in the afternoon in the studio, and I want to go home at night while I'm watching TV or whatever, and look at my painting to see what I've, where I've gone wrong or what I need to improve. So I'm always studying them all day long and all night, actually. And, uh, uh, so I want it to be exactly right. So I photograph them all the time. When they're done, I take a final photograph. Initially, what I do when I start a painting is I ask them if I can, take their, if I can paint their photograph of their portrait. And then I, I, I take pictures of them, and I, and I, I use my cell phone to do that. No, my iPhone 6. And I just get them and I take, take, take a whole lot of shots. And I pick the one that I think is going to be the best. And I develop it. And I blow it way up so that I can get the detail. And it's about a 10-point 10, uh, 10 uh, process. Two things in it that I do over time. And it's, I work, every one I start and I complete in exactly the same way. I think the beautiful thing is that you gave them away. I mean, that's really, that's not so easy to do after all that. Mm -hmm. But at least you have a record of it. Mm -hmm. So that's the best part. You, it won't really go away for you either. Right. But for them, I mean, just think of the joy that it'll bring their family. That it probably is bringing them now, but as if they do pass, then they'll have their family to keep that portrait and they'll be able to carry it on generation to generation. That's my hope. So, Jim, tell me, how has this changed your life? Because this has been a real adventure. 
Well, it's it's brought me closer to, to all of these people. Okay, much closer than I could have otherwise been. Okay, when you when you do a portrait like this, you find yourself really understanding that character. Okay, you, they kind of like it, it's, it's you are having a a very intense relationship with the person just to study in their face. And my hope is that when you come up to view one of my paintings, you'll have a, a conversation with that person, okay? And so they, these people continuously, all of them affect me all the time. Okay? They're all friends of mine, and we, we work together, we play together, we're, uh, we're just together, and it could be nothing greater. And, you know, there's things that I see uh, in viewing them that um, I understand what you're getting at. I really do. I mean, this man looks like he might have been a man that smiled a lot, maybe had a very good attitude about life. He did. He was a very loving man. Right. He was a, he was a great golf, really a good golfer. He was a golf pro at one time, I think. Now, Stanley here, I had a real bond with Stanley. Because both of him are, him and I are combat medics. He was in World War II and I was in Vietnam. Oh my gosh, what a fantastic And he was connection. captured as, we were also conscientious objectors. <laughs> we were opposed to war. But, so we both served as, as, as medical corpsmen in each respective war. Right. Stanley was taken as a prisoner of war by the Nazis and almost died in a death camp. Okay, so he is. Real history. I, I, I don't know if I'm right on this, but I do see um, a little bit of sadness in his eyes. And uh, maybe that comes from the history. Maybe that comes from what he's been through. I, I noticed a little sadness in his eyes. Stan Stanley had a great sadness in his soul. He experienced a lot of sadness. He, he watched children, his children pass away. And he, but he was a beautiful man. He was an incredible artist. He. He was part of that New York school after the war, okay, the modern art school, the abstract expressionists and all. He sold very well in New York during those, those years. Thank you, Jim. And mostly, um, I think more than anything, thank you for the insights that you gave us about these people. Because, you know, some of the things we can read, but then you gave us much greater insight. And we appreciate it very much. So much. So, so nice to talk to you. Thank Great you to for talk coming to tonight. This is a portrait by Jean Swanson. And lucky for us, we have the lady in the picture. And this is Barbara Swanson. Barbara Swanson. But I think the thing, I, I want you to know that I was attracted to this almost the mi minute I came in here. I looked at it and I saw love. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, sweetheart, how many years have we been married? Listen to this lady. Uh, she's, she's, they're, they're in the neighborhood of 70 years. Oh, <laughs> uh, give, or, give or take five they're, or they're six years. They're taping us and they're talking oh, about our painting. Okay. No, so, no. I said I walked into the room and it's one of the first portraits that I looked at and I saw love. Okay, okay. But it's true, that's what I saw. Thank you, thank you. I'm and after all these years, I think it's still there, right? Yes, yes, yes. Of course it's there. Yeah. No, thank you for that, because no, I, I was so pleased that we... Children and grandchildren and wonderful. One, one of our sons, sons took a photograph, and this is the source of the painting. Okay. But to have, to have caught us in a pose that so appropriate. Captured. Captures. It, it was just marvelous. So I loved it so much and, and one of our, our other sons saw the photo. He called it the great photo. Because he, he, he had not seen a photo of us and nor had I where we were so well pictured. Yes. And so I thought, well, I'm going to see if I can get it get it uh, set down and and the way it turned out I, I just I just was more than pleased very, right? yes. have you done this before yes I've been painting uh, since I was first doing sculpting for Chapman University while I was doing sculpting for Chapman University um, the Pietus uh, suggested I enter a, go attend a, uh, a portrait uh, painting class. That, I attended for the several years then, a portrait painting class in Cerritos. And so when the money for the, for the sculpting uh, 
ran out, then I went to doing paintings. Good, you had an alternative. So I mm -hmm. have been doing portraits and I've been doing other work. My work is shown in the John Wayne Airport exhibition just oh, closed, uh, okay. a month ago. And I just got paintings back from San Clemente Art Show. Good, uh, good. Where I won the first and second prize, my first entry, as well as the People's yeah. Choice. Well, great. I was just thrilled. You course, should be. Because not only did that one painting uh, earn me best of show here in the Little Woods Art Association show, but um, I never had uh, the occasion of a people's choice to go I know, on. That's, so that's that, really good. That was confirmation enough to make me. Well, fly. this is my people's choice. Well, I, I, yes, I really love thank it. Thank you. I, I I look forward to entering this into the the next uh, uh, show here. Oh, good. By the art. Uh, by the uh, Art Association? Little, yeah, yeah. And do you know when that's going to be? Um, I, I don't know. I think it's going to be in the fall because okay. the, the difference is Laguna Woods offers a pastel uh, once a year, and I discovered San Clemente offers pastel at each of their shows. So they have like four or five, and so I'm all over getting my stuff down there. Good. And we're, we're experiencing such a great. Uh, experience that uh, she comes along and she's uh, yes I do it's very interesting you meet a lot of very interesting people and it's yes. fun we enjoy it and uh, so that's what we've been doing with well and did you enjoy the, tonight did you feel there was oh, a good vibration this, going down oh, here th this is this is wonderful I, I'm so thrilled uh, I was concerned that uh, getting people to come out for an art I know. exhibition was a this is a big uh, but it has turned out wonderfully. And, and the thing that I appreciated the most was, before it all began, was the, the uh, provision for showing work set professionally up. was created. And when the room was offered and this was created, I thought, this is, this is a winner. Yes, and one lady said, this is like you. I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. I'm so good. I, I just think what Laguna Woods uh, Village has done here with creating this display of art is just over the top. I'm just so grateful and excited to have our work uh, on display. And people show it interesting. Well, and I'm just glad that we got to talk to you and that I got to meet you both. We're very happy to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank it was you. wonderful. And we'll keep looking for your art. And, I'll, and I'll always remember that picture. Uh, I always remember Thank you. Uh, so will I. Okay. Thank you, very good. Very Thank you so much. Very kind.